Welcome to our fifth day novena in honor of our Lady of Miraculous Medal. I know that each one of us here present, wherever you are, in your home, in your work, or you are traveling right now, you have an intention. We are praying with you as you pray for us. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our Mother Mary has a title, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal. In this title of Mary, she promised that the grace from her Son will flow from her two hands, the rays of blessing. And in this novena, let us offer all your intentions and let us ask the Son of Mary, our Lord Jesus Christ, to hear all those intentions that we are praying at this very moment and also those intentions entrusted to our prayers. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Virgin most pure, conceive without sin, all fair and stainless in your conception, glorious Mary, full of grace, Mother of my God, Queen of angels and of men, I humbly venerate you as the Mother of my Savior, who, though he was God, taught me his own veneration, reverence, and obedience to you, the honor and homage that are due to you. Vouchsafe, I pray you, to accept this novena, which I dedicate to you. You are the safe refuge of the penitent sinner. It is very fitting then that I should have recourse to you. You are the mother of compassion. Then will you surely be moved with pity for many miseries. You are my best hope after Jesus. You cannot but accept the loving confidence that I have in you. Make me worthy to be called your child so that I may dare to cry unto you, show yourself a mother. Special Prayer for the Fifth Day O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. With these words you surround your medal, O Miraculous Virgin. You have placed them there to teach me how to address you when I come with my hands extended begging your help. Mary, my mother, whose heart was never crossed with the shadow of sin, behold me kneeling suppliant before you. If you will not look upon my suffering, nor add your saving voice to my crying before the throne of God, then I am miserable indeed. To you do I come, O Mary, and I know that you will not abandon me. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. At this very moment, let us lift up all our intentions. Ang mga kahilingan niyo na nandyan ngayon sa puso at isipan niyo. Kung saan man kayo ngayon sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. I am inviting you to pray from your heart at this very moment. I invite you to bow your head as a way of humility to our Lord Jesus Christ. You may close your eyes and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit as we are praying at this very moment for your intentions. God, our Father, 
we are very grateful for sending your son Jesus for you love the world that you gave your only son our Lord Jesus Christ and have chosen Mary our mother and the mother of your son Jesus at this very moment we offer to you all our intentions and petitions in our mind and heart right now and also those intentions entrusted to our prayers for this novena we offer it to you we lift them up to you in your name Jesus and also at this very moment I invite each one of you to remember those who are sick in our family those who know that needs our prayer let us offer them to God for healing and those who are present right now who also experience difficulties who experience sadness emotional problems and even physical sickness I invite you which part of your body that you feel weak there are sickness just touch them and feel the presence of God at this very moment let us remember the blind man the blind man cannot see Jesus the blind man just know that Jesus was passing by he just shouted Jesus son of David have pity on me by being persistent in his prayer Jesus stop and called him my dear friends I know at this very moment Jesus stopped and listened to our prayers may the good Lord our Lord Jesus Christ in his great name his mighty name receive receive the blessing that you are praying for at this very moment in the name of Jesus his mighty name receive God's grace and compassion in the name of Jesus his mighty name no other name receive God's healing in the name of Jesus his mighty name no other name but Jesus receive 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 God's grace God's healing God's compassion and mercy in the name of Jesus under the intercession of our mother Mary our lady of miraculous medal maniwala ka kapatid wag kang mag-alinlangan just believe trust in the Lord do not doubt feel the presence of God at this very moment in your life 
wherever you are, feel God's presence and feel the warmth of the love of God and feel the blessing of the Lord upon you at this very moment to the intercession of our Mother Mary, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal. This we pray, we offer, we sum up all our prayers and intentions to the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Invocations O Mother of Love, Most Pure Mary, by the manifestation of your holy medal, inflame our hearts in the divine love, so that insensible to earthly things, we may only sigh for eternal and heavenly ones. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O refuge of sinners, most powerful Mary, by the manifestation of your holy medal, have pity on our faults and miseries, and obtain for us the grace to die rather than sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O gate of heaven, most sweet Mary, by the manifestation of your holy medal, grant us the grace of perseverance, of a holy death, and the enjoyment of your presence in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Concluding prayers for each day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly on to you o virgin of virgins my mother to you i come before you i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not our petitions but in your clemency hear and answer me amen in your conception of virgin, you were immaculate. Pray for us to the Father whose Son was born of you. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have willed to honor the most blessed Virgin Mary, your ever immaculate mother, by innumerable miracles, grant that we who always implore her patronage may obtain eternal joys who live and reign forever and ever amen let us pray the prayer novena in honor of our lady of miraculous medal come O holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and in the lend them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, you have instructed the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Lord Jesus Christ, you have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth 
may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven. You live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, for the accomplishment of your greatest works, you have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and for a better and more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, you have wished that the Miraculous Medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labor. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly on to you, O Virgin of Virgins our mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate. Despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. Novena Prayer O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence, in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. At this very moment, let us remember our beloved dead. May the good Lord, the Son of Mary, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal, who is merciful and forgiving, welcome them into His kingdom in heaven. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin, and that purify of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to His greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode, where you are the Queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affliction for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that, in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. Thank you for joining with us in our fifth day novena in honor of our Mother Mary, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal. Tuloy-tuloy po ang ating pagnunubiyana sa nanawa ang iyong mga biyaya na hinihiling sa ating pagnunubena ay dahan-dahan nyo na nadama at natatanggap. May the good Lord continue to bless you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our prayer novena has been prayed. Go, continue trusting the Lord. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters, our fifth day in the Mass to Our Lady of Miraculous Medal of the Immaculate Conception. gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Mga kapatid, nakalimang araw na po tayo sa ating pagnunovina. Let us continue to pray during this Mass. Your intentions, your prayer request, and all those Intentions entrusted to our prayers. Maniwala at magtiwala po tayo na ang Diyos ay nagbibigay ng kanyang biyaya sa tulong ng kanyang ina na si Maria. To be worthy of God's grace, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and pardon.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us glorify God by singing glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, His mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fr fruitful day by day and exulting in the holiness of her children may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look 
after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock, when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out. They strayed, I will bring back. The injured, I will bind up. The sick, I will heal. But the sleek and the strong, I will destroy. Shepherd them, them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord, I will judge between the sheep and another between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits. Then at his coming, those who belong to Christ, then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power, for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all and all. Alleluia. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia, alleluia.
Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goat. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you, a stranger, and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you, ill or in prison, and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did it. For me. Then he will say to those on the left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome, naked, and you gave me no clothing, ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then you will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, or not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we are celebrating our fifth day Novena Mass. At the same time, today is the feast of Christ the King. This is a reminder for us that the Son of Mary, the Our Lady of Miraculous Medal, is our King, Christ the King. Here in our Gospel, it talks about the end of time. Sa katapusan ng araw. According to our Gospel, when Jesus, our King, Christ the King, will come again, he will bring with him angels and those angels will separate the sheep and the goats. And we know those belong 
to the sheep will have a reward of eternal life. Those who belong to the goats, they have punishment. The fire, eternal fire. My dear friends, let us focus on the good news for us. Here, our gospel is already a reminder for us that at the end of time, this will be the situation. What will happen? Jesus will ask us, will ask me personally, Father, when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I, am, I was thirsty, did you give me water to drink? When I was stranger, did you welcome me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? Ill, did you care for me? In prison, did you visit me? That will be the question of God to me. God will not ask me, are you a priest? Are you a teacher? Are you a businessman? Or whatever profession that you have or what kind of person that we have. No. He will not ask our name. He will ask what we have done to the least brothers and sisters of mine. Our brothers and sisters. God will ask us. That is why, my dear friends, let us try to do the work of mercy. What Jesus is telling us in the gospel. He is pointing out the work of mercy. Yan nga mga kapatid, huwag tayong magsawang tumulong. Huwag tayong magsawang sumunod sa kaluban ng Diyos. Huwag tayong magsawang gumawa ng mabuti. Dahil yan ay iniipo natin. At kung tayo po ay gumawa ng mabuti, Sana hindi natin isipin ang kapalit. Hintayin po natin ang reward, ang gantimpalang ipagkakaloob ng Diyos sa atin sa katapusan ng araw. Do good things. Live a faithful and a good life. My dear friends, our gospel for today on the feast of Christ the King is reminding us that Jesus will come again as a king. Second, when he will come again, he will reward those who belong to the sheep and punish those who belong to the goats. To become or to be part of the goat is not to do what we ought to do. To belong to the sheep is doing what we ought to do. That is why, my dear friends, this is also a reminder for us, the third one, that sin of omission. Nakakatakot po yun. At doon ako natatakot. The sin of omission. Baka maraming dapat kong gawin bilang pare na hindi ko nagagawa. Yan nga, we are telling in the beginning of the Mass, sinasabi po natin, inaamin ko sa makapangyarihang Diyos 
at sa inyong mga kapatid na ako'y nagkasala sa apat na pamaraan sa isip, sa salita, sa gawa, at sa aking pagkukulang. The sin of omission. Yung hindi natin nagawa na dapat natin gawin. That is the third message of our gospel. Beware to commit on that sin of omission. Huwag tayong matakot. Gawin lang natin ang dapat natin gawin. Mga kapatid, magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos dahil take home na po, pinaalam na po ng ating Panginoon kung anong mangyari sa hinarap. Itong gospel na ito, ito daw ang mangyayari sa hinarap dahil yan ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. So be ready for the coming of the Lord, our Christ the King. Happy Fiesta! Happy Fiesta ng Kristong Hari. At this very moment, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all of age, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin of Mary, and became man for our sake. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess and baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. At this very moment, my dear friends, I invite you to bow your head and pray from your heart, from your heart. Ask the Lord whatever intentions, prayer requests that you have right now. I give you a minute of silence and use this time to pray. Offer your intentions, whatever intentions that you have, and pray for those people entrusted to our prayer. Pray. Pray, my dear friends.
pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, with her may be united more closely to work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise, as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady of Miraculous Medal. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who, by the death of Christ, are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the Spirit you have promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the, of the disciples, and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by descending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Pablo Virgilio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
especially those whom we remember our beloved dead during this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. My dear friends, at this very moment, I invite you to bow your head. Just bow your head in humility to God. Let us examine what is in our mind and heart right now. Kung hindi pa po mapanatag ang ating isipan at puso ngayon. Let us offer na magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan sa ating puso at isipan. Mapanatag ang ating kalooban. Let us ask the Lord, Jesus, because He is inviting us right now. If you are burdened and worried of many things, Come to me, and I will give you rest. God will give us peace in our mind and heart. He can only, He is the one that can only give real peace in our mind and heart. Offer it to Him, our worries, our sufferings. Have peace. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
My dear friends, wherever you are at this very moment, you cannot receive physically the body of Christ. But with our faith and trust in Him, we can receive spiritually the body of Christ. And now we will be praying. We will be praying the spiritual prayer of communion. Let us pray our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining with us in our Novena Mass. I always invite you to join with us this nine-day Novena Masses and on the th tenth day that will be the Feast of Our Lady of Miraculous Medal. I am inviting you to join us daily. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us continue serving the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>